All right, looks like the traffic cones are coming. Some major construction projects along I-25 here in the metro are getting ready to leave the planning phase and become a reality. That includes a long-awaited interchange project in Las Lunas. Griffin Rushton joins us now with an in-depth look at the project, which we believe is soon going to be breaking ground, Griffin. Yeah, Trevor, that's if everything goes according to plan. Of course, that's always how it goes. Village officials confirm construction on a second highway interchange is on track to begin this fall, and this project is a long time coming. Los Lunas is one of the fastest growing communities in New Mexico, and that means there's more and more drivers clogging the one and only interchange up here along Main Street and you know other roads throughout the village. So village leaders are hustling to build a new main vein, so to speak. The plan is to build that new interchange right here on the south side of town and then upgrade this road. This is Morris Road all the way around here, connecting to Highway 314 and then crossing the Rio Grande and these new river bridges. Uh, they are far and few between. The road will eventually go and connect to Highway 47. This is a pretty rough map, but you get the gist of what they're trying to do here. It is a massive project decades in the making and village leaders say it's finally time to put the pedal to the metal. It's not aspirational at this point. We are building this road. The route is drawn. The funding is secured and now dreams of a new highway interchange in Los Lunas are finally shifting into high gear. We would like to be in construction in October, November of this year. Deputy Village Administrator Aaron Callahan says the $154 million project will not only transform Los Lunas, but the rest of Valencia County too. We anticipate that freeing up that congestion is going to, you know, open the doors for people to feel more comfortable driving down Main Street for their shopping. It's also going to help connect other, you know, possible future activity centers in the village and Valencia County that can facilitate economic development without overburdening access on this road. She's talking about this road, State Road 6, otherwise known as Main Street. Not only is it the only way to get on and off I-25, it's also the only way to get across the Rio Grande. That's an inconvenience for travelers, but that's a safety issue when we're talking about emergency response. Uh, we have times when our emergency vehicles can't drive down the right side of the road um, because there's so much congestion. Callahan says congestion was already an issue back in 2001 when this project first got started. She says early estimates predict the new interchange, expanded roadway, and second river crossing will reduce congestion on Main Street by 40 percent. And while while reducing traffic is one benefit. This additional connection is really critical to helping grow and maintain our position as one of the leaders in economic development and new employment in the region and in the state of New Mexico. Callahan says this construction on this first phase of the project could take up to three years. But once it's done, like as we mentioned, this mm -hmm. new road, it's going to cross the entire village, including the river, connecting I-25, highways 314 and 47, which are really the main roads through Los Lunas. The big question, a lot of people were wondering what kind of delays, what kind of price could we pay for this construction? Well, you know, according to the current plans that Callahan told me that they will not have to shut down I-25 to build Ooh. this interchange, but there may be some lane closures as of you course. might expect, and that's not the only big project on I-25. 